Today we'll be discussing charging orders on properties and what happens to them when somebody passes away. A charging order is a legal charge that is registered with the land registry, effectively transforming an unsecured debt into a secured one. When a charging order is placed on a property, it changes a joint tenancy into a tenancy in common. This means that if one of the joint tenants passes away, their share of the property becomes part of their estate and won't automatically pass to the surviving owner. When a person dies, the debts they have left behind are typically paid out of their estate, which includes money and property that they owe. As a surviving joint owner, you are generally not responsible for the deceased's debt unless you had a joint loan agreement or provided a loan guarantee. In the case of a jointly owned property where only one owner is the debtor, the charging order will only be made against the beneficial interest of the debtor. The house can be sold and the proceeds will be used to pay off the deceased debt. You can check for a charging order on your property through the land registry, as it doesn't appear on your credit file. A charging order remains recorded in the land registry until the debt is fully paid off. In Scotland, there is a 12-year expiry period. Once the debt is fully paid, creditors typically inform the land registry and the charging order is removed from your property. You can also request a certificate of satisfaction from the court, providing evidence of payment. When someone dies, their debts are paid out of the estate, which includes money and property that they leave behind. In most cases, you are not responsible for the debts of a husband, wife or a civil partner unless you had a joint loan agreement or provided a loan guarantee. In the case of a jointly owned property where only one joint owner is the debtor, the charging order will typically be made against the beneficial interest of the debtor. This means that if the property is sold, the proceeds will be used to pay off the debtor's debt. If you find yourself with a debt that you can't pay off, then seeking advice from a charity like Citizens Advice, Step Change, Christians Against Poverty can be an excellent option. Debt charities can offer free impartial advice without any money-making influence affecting their advice. Thousands of individuals have already benefited from using one of these services.